What is going on, my Super Saiyans? Rops are here, and today we're burning our mixtape with Toasty in the background. A yep. hey. <laughs> and by burning our mixtape, I'm talking about we're gonna be burning this Dragon Ball Super discussion today. Uh, going off of basically what was revealed the other day. So in case you missed it, you live under a rock or just you know don't have internet or don't exist. Uh, Toriyama revealed that Dragon Ball Super is going to consist of three arcs so far. Uh, those arcs consist of Battle of Gods, Resurrection F, and Universe 6. And today we're going to specifically focus around the Battle of Gods arc and kind of uh, breaking down our own thoughts and hopes of what we hope to see in the upcoming saga. Toasty, you want to start us off? Uh, yeah, I guess. I, I would personally like to see a little bit more stuff concerning what Beerus and Whis are doing. Like, obviously, we're going to be getting that in the first few episodes of Super. We're going to be getting more stuff about Beerus and Whis, even though that's technically before uh, they meet uh, Goku and the gang. But when the Battle of God saga actually happens, hopefully there's going to be more stuff around what they're doing at the time. A lot of stuff. Obviously, Beerus just woke up and everything like that. And maybe could try and give you a clearer way to see their roles. Well, I know that Beerus has got destruction, but, like, something more about Whis. Like, because in Battle of Gods, like, Whis was really just to the side he really didn't do anything and uh, Beerus was more of the main attraction and then obviously Whis uh, is more prevalent and more relevant in Resur Resurrection F uh, but yeah I, I don't know I just like to see more stuff considered around those guys uh, Goku and the gang they really don't have a lot of stuff going on that's uh, very expandable I mean you know Goku's training after the first episode of Super which you know we've already uh, heard about and everything like that uh, so uh, yeah, I just think that something more about Beerus and Whis, if we can see some more stuff, would be really cool. Because, you know, these arcs are just a good opportunity for him to give pretty much the full extent of what the movies could have been. I mean, since mo they're movies, they had to be like around two hours, not even less than two hours long. So, I mean, now he has more freedom, I guess. Actual character development. What I feel like is going to happen is I feel like we're not going to learn anything about Whis and Beerus still. I don't know, I just feel like they're going to reveal very little about both of them. But there's something I do want to really want to see. I, what I really want to see is Beerus actually get into a fight. And you know what? Actually, I rewatched Battle of Gods the other night, um, the extended version, and mm. I just I realized again how awesome that fight was between Goku and him. And I'm really hoping that when they do, if they do that same kind of fight where it's like the same guy Goku versus Beerus, I hope that like it becomes just as epic as like the fight with Frieza was, or something like crazy. Because like now Toriyama, as you said, has a lot of room to do uh, those kinds of fights because it's not squeezing an entire series into like an hour and twenty minutes. Now mm -hmm. he can actually do multiple episodes and really build out his fight the way he originally probably hoped to do it. I feel like Beer I feel like not Beerus. Uh, Toriyama probably wanted to bring back the series a while ago, but then just decided to do a movie instead and just kind of like yeah, two, gave two us a short because version. I guess. He felt like that, that was the best part or something. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, also, hopefully, hopefully, when he does the fights now, hopefully he doesn't do the same thing that they did in the original Dragon Ball Z, where they just, like, kind of... Uh, Goku and Frieza, if you remember, during the original fight, there was a lot of staring going on and everything like that. It was fixed in Kai. It wasn't as much staring or any, as much, like, just, like, sitting around talking. <laughs> Like, uh, how it kind of was supposed to be in the manga. There was a lot of staring and <laughs> doing nothing in the original. So hopefully that doesn't return, because I really would not want to see that. Because it kind of wastes time, and it's kind of boring to just watch them look at each other. So, yeah, I know that there is, like, one only moment, really, where they just look at each other in Battle of Gods. Obviously, there is talking in the fight. But, mm -hmm. I mean... Like, that's still, like, it doesn't do it as bad as the original Dragon Ball Z anime did it. Because that, that would, took a long time. Frieza fight was so long in that series, but yeah. Uh, it hopefully was the longest now, fight in anime history, actually. Fun fact. Yeah, so hopefully, and apparently it only took five minutes. No, but yeah, hopefully <laughs> it will actually be something along the lines of Kai. I know a lot of people don't like Kai, but I think the pacing in Kai is a yeah, whole, I, whole I, lot better. I completely agree. I mean, the only thing I didn't mm. like about Kai personally was just Gohan's voice. But outside of that, Kai is actually a pretty good series. Uh, what I was going to point out is, you know what's something that I know that people want? They want to see the red hair Super Saiyan God Vegeta. I, yeah, I, I want to see really that. Wanna I know see you want to see it. Like, we want to see it. Like, that's what I'm also hoping that they actually write into this saga. Where it's, instead of just Goku becoming Super Saiyan God, Super mm -hmm. Saiyan, not Super Saiyan, uh, but regular Super Saiyan God. Instead of just Goku becoming Super Saiyan God, we also get the Vegeta as well. So I'm hoping maybe, what if like Shampa and Beerus go to Earth and face off with both these guys and kind of train them the way Beerus was training Goku in, in uh, Battle of Gods. I'm hoping to see yeah. more something like that. Um. Oh, also, I'm sorry, but Re Re Resurrection F spoilers for anybody who's watching Resurrection F, so skip a few seconds ahead if you don't want to get spoiled for that, but did they ever in the movie actually say why Vegeta gets Super Saiyan God? Like, did, did they ever mention that he became a Super Saiyan God through the ritual already, or... No, they actually didn't say anything, so it's not much So of a they didn't put any sort of thing, <laughs> anything no, into that no. at all? they were just, they, that's, that, that's kind of what was weird about Resurrection F, and we'll discuss hmm. the Resurrection F saga probably tomorrow, but uh, the Resurrection F uh, movie just... 
it would just it fits in so perfectly on like a random like weekend like I've, I've said this a lot of times this past week and I feel like Resurrection Chef doesn't need its own saga but at the same time I know it, I, it leaves a lot of questions unanswered but I mean if you want to check out mine and Tosi's discussion on Resurrection F uh, saga check it out tomorrow but uh, I don't, they just didn't explain it they were just already mastered blue hair Super Saiyan got Super Saiyans and it just I don't know hmm. it was just kind of weird yeah, that is really weird. All right, we'll discuss that one more in the Resurrection F version of this. But for, for, personally, I would just like to see some more character development for the Battle mm -hmm. of God saga. Really isn't I want to see a Beerus lot fight. to expand I just want to see Beerus on. fight again. I yeah. want to see, like, powered up Beerus fight. That's what I want to see. Yeah. I mean, yeah, we can get a lot of that, hopefully. I mean, I, we still don't know how long these sagas are going to be. It could be three episodes. It could be a lot more. But hopefully they are short and sweet, along with, like, uh, all, all that they wanted to put into the movie. So, yeah, that's really all I got to say about that. In before and, uh, Dragon Ball Super is actually 26 episodes long. And, like, <laughs> yo, imagine Battle of Gods, would <laughs> Battle so Gods and Resurrection F just takes up, like, half of that. And then we see Universe 6 for, like, the last half. Yeah, last 12 episodes and then it's over. <laughs> yeah, that would, that would make people so upset. <laughs> yeah. Well, I guess uh, we pretty much kind of said what you wanted to say. So, what we want to ask you guys is basically what are you hoping to see in now the Battle of Gods arc? Uh, I mean don't really expect it to be the same because i feel like toriyama is going to change a lot of, you know of what we saw in battle of gods i mean this is kind of like the premise that was set with that movie now it's they're going to use probably that blueprint and turn it into a saga so what are you hoping to see maybe different what do you want to like really what kind of focus do you want around there let us know in the comment section below uh toasty anything else nope that's it so yeah if you guys enjoyed the video make sure to leave a like Subscribe to any of either of us if you're new. Uh, Ram will be in the description for my channel, and hopefully I'll be in his description for his channel. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you guys yeah. later. And before we end this, don't forget Dragon Ball Super is officially going to be live tonight. Tonight, because remember, by the time you're watching this video, it's already like middle of the night in Japan. So mm -hmm. sometime tonight, there should be a Dragon Ball Super link going around the internet. And if you follow both Toasty and myself be, on I'm Twitter, <laughs> it's easy Toasty at, at RhymeStyle on Twitter. Uh, I'm sure one of us will post it, you know, when, when we see something. So you yeah. can check it out yourself. Oh, yeah. Anyways, right. guys, so we hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have a drive super, don't forget to hit that like button right in the face. And check out Toasty's mixtapes because he's on fire right now. Yeah. We'll see you guys in the comment section below. Peace. Peace.